tail of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. And now, with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight... Herb Dean, our referee. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Chuck Liddell, Quentin Rampage Jackson. On, Round man. one is underway. The one thing Chuck Liddell had been able to do against Randy Couture and Jeremy Horn is avenge earlier losses. He's still looking to do that, and you know he wants to fight Quentin Rampage Jackson again. Yeah, Quentin Rampage Jackson is the only man that has two wins in a row over Chuck Liddell. See if somebody pushes away and throws an elbow on the way out. Wow, the power of the takedown there. Rampage, when he gets a position of dominance, Joe, he loves to finish the fight. Yeah, Rampage is very dangerous from the top position. He's got horrifying ground to pound and vicious elbow both to the head and to the body. You stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Rampage, you might be in big trouble. Rampage is an awesome athlete, and he's got some vicious power in his punches. Joey's going to look to finish by armbar. Yeah, he's locking it up here. He needs to get his leg across. He lost it. He decides to let him up. Under three minutes now. Nice body shot. Can he get it? Again, the takedown is stopped. Well, Chuck loves when guys chase him. When he's backpedaling, he's the one man, well, one of the few men who can actually knock his opponent out. Body shot. Trying to find the range. He's got the double underhooks. Rampage in the clinch oftentimes eats some really ugly knees. Why is that? Well, it's just a, a matter of technical proficiency. Rampage is a very talented guy. He's very physically strong, but he's not the most technical fighter in the world. He relies a lot on brute strength and athleticism. 90 seconds remains. Raining down punches. A little bit over a minute to go. He's looking for the highlight finish, undoubtedly. Looking for the takedown. And again, a good sprawl. Missed that shot. Good punch right there. 45 seconds remains in the first round. Oh, ain't a hook, though. Joe looking for the takedown here. Final 30 seconds. Non-title fight. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Combination, left, right. He's going to look for a takedown, I think. And stops another takedown attempt. Win or lose, there are going to be a couple of really sore dudes after this fight's over. Yeah, no one's going to recognize these guys in the morning. Let's take a look at some of the action here. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Except for round two. This fight's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Chuck has incredible power in both legs. Joe, many people have tried to analyze and break down from a scientific point of view the damage in which fighters in the UFC can impose on others. And Quentin Rampage Jackson in one program, they said that his slam on Arona was the single most devastating blow in all sports, all time. I would think you'd have to go to bullfight and you see anything more devastating. <laughs> that was the most ridiculous slam ever. Having Arona above his head, grabbing him by the legs, above his head, and slamming his head down to the mat. That was the one fight where I was concerned for the guy being dead after it was over. The fans here are so rapid. Wow. They're crazy. And he decides to let him up. He's looking for the highlight reel finish. Can he get it? Those takedowns will score points. Yes. Another elbow. He lets him up. Rampage packs so much power in those hooks. Inside the guard, posturing up. The Iceman Chuck Liddell. You can't take him down very easily, and if you do, it's hard to keep him down. He is one of the best fighters in the world at getting back up to his feet and throwing. And he is the first wrestler that uh, ever utilized that style of, of fighting where he's using his wrestling in reverse. He uses his wrestling to keep the fight on the feet. Pushing forward quickly. 
He's eating some punches. Superman punch. Looking for the takedown. Joe Rampage's great chin was on display in his fights against Vanderlei Silva and Shogun. Yeah, Vanderlei Silva, especially the first fight, he took a beating before he dropped. Chuck loves to explode with that big right hand. Joe looking for the takedown here. Nice double leg. 45 seconds remain. Oh, he lets him up. Final 15 seconds of round number two. Again, the takedown is stopped. What a great ball here tonight. These guys are really battling each other. Let's take a look at some of that action here. Jackson, when he first came to the UFC, might have been the most popular fighter. Left up, he's down! Controlling the head again. He's going to look for a takedown, I think. Takes him right down to the ground. Outstanding Kempo kickboxer, which means he has Muay Thai skills. Part of Muay Thai, Joe, is, is working in those tight quarters and the elbows and the dirty boxing. Chuck would rather push away, though, and keep distance, wouldn't he? Well, he likes to have a nice, uh, a nice amount of distance to set up those big strikes, big punches, and big kicks, but he's also capable of fighting in close. Can he get it? Double leg got it. He decides to let him up. Oh, wow. Almost on him. Looking for the takedown. And again, a good sprawl. Joe looking for the takedown here. And another takedown. One minute remains. Forty-five seconds remains. Goes right into side control. 30 seconds remains in the round. Fifteen seconds on the clock. Trying to set up the submission. Final seconds ticking away. Three rounds complete. Fifteen minutes of fighting. This fight is over. We will head to the judges' score. Hey, you Joe, moderate damage sustained by both fighters. Both men had their moments. Not the most entertaining fight we've ever seen, but not bad. Not the worst, but it was a decent contest. Let's take a look at some of the action here. <sighs> the judges have rendered their scorecards. Bruce Buffer has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, I won. three rounds of action. I, was, I would think you would have won, yeah. No, it wasn't. All three judges for this contest, 29-28. Oh, it was a mad good fight. Decision. Return. Ah. Ah. 
probably the craziest, longest fight I had all day. Jackson.